Hey, what's up guys? Sorry for not uploading lately. I wasn't uh, feeling too great. However, today I've got a really quick tutorial on how to look for uh, contact information either using your smartwatch or just the voice commands on your phone. Uh, it's very simple, it's going to last you about 10 minutes to, to put it all together and start it. Obviously this is just ideas and you can finish with uh, whatever features you want to use in this profile. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, now how it works. Right now Google um, Google now, the, all the voice commands on Android Watch aren't very helpful, however uh, you have a shake uh, function that you can recall the commands and for, for this opportunity I have um, display email address for Becky and in a second this email address is available for, for the desired contact and I can easily look it up. Uh, the confirmation is being displayed on the phone whenever the phone is on or on the watch if the phone uh, the, the, the display of the phone is off. So uh, this is something I'll show you right now. So I mentioned before this is available for your watch and also for your mobile. So we're going to go ahead and open Dasker and create our condition. We're going to use um, our plugin which is Auto Voice and use recognize command as one of the conditions. So there we want to modify command um, filter and I'm just going to copy and paste fragment from it. However, there will be a link explaining in detail what we're doing here. Basically, the command filter will uh, ask us to say display the type of our um, contact information then we're going to use word for and then again we're going to ask for the name. As you can see the first bit will be passed as a variable data type and this is going to be either email address, a date of birth or phone number and the second fragment in that sentence it will be responsible for passing the name towards the tasker. So an example of the command we're going to be looking for is display email address for Becky. So I assume you've got everything filled in now so we're going to just approve it and make sure in this plugin we also select use regex so we're going to use regular expressions. Okay, so we've got this sorted now. Let's have a look and uh, create a new task. I'm just going to um, call it contact lookup for you. And we're going to use auto contacts uh, to be able to look for contact information and store it in local variables. So in auto contacts, once we index all the contacts, all we have to do is just use the local variable name, the same we've used in our voice recognition pattern. And this way, Whenever we search for a contact, all the local variables visible on the screen will be populated once the contact is found. This means we have to start storing and processing. So we're going to set the first variable and this variable will be responsible for handling our contact name. So I'm just going to call it contact name and I'm going to send it to the local variable name that we're going to receive from our um, voice recognition. The second variable that we're going to produce, it's the contact information that we want to receive and that's gonna be variable responsible for displaying it. So that contact info variable will be set to whatever uh, local variable it's available with the appropriate information from auto contact um, plugin. I'm adding right now a bullshit name and I'll explain you in a second why. We're going to use this several other times because we're going to use if condition. So basically one of the variables we set the local variables was a data type and this is also something we received from our auto voice. And this will define what kind of information we are looking for. So in this case I'm going to use email address. So if data type matches email address it will set the information. Now, we're going to copy it for each set of information we can receive. So one for the email, one for the phone, one for the address and one for the date of birth. Now, all we have to do is just modify all the information to find the correct variables. So first one, we're looking for auto contacts email handler. So this is the variable and everything is set up for it. The second one, uh, let's have a look on the perhaps phone number. 
So we're going to look for the variable responsible for handling phone number. This is the one. And we have to change the data type match. And it's going to be obviously a phone number. We're going to do exactly the same for the address and for the date of birth. In each case is changing the correct variables and changing the correct uh, if condition. This is basically for whenever we're going to require email address and we're going to say email address, we want on only one of those four entries to work and display information needed. Just remember to if conditions uh, enter whatever you're going to usually say when requesting for contact type detail. If you're more likely to use a mobile phone instead of phone number, use that instead. So the last bit is just to alert us with the correct information. We're going to use a simple task and notify screen and we're going to use the two um, global variables that we've created, the contact name and contact info. Those two variables will uh, have the information we need. So at this point you would be more or less set, however we're going to work it a little bit more uh, to define uh, when to display this. So I'm just going to quickly add an icon to it to display that this is a contact information and then we're going to use two ways to notify it. When our phone is off, we're going to, uh, the screen is off, we're going to display notification on our watch and when the screen is on it will display uh, the notification on the phone itself. To do this we're just going to go to the condition and select uh, the variable screen which monitors whether the screen is on or off. And when this is done we're just going to create a new uh, notification using Android Wear. So we're going to head to plugins and create a notification in Android Wear. Again, in this case, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, it's just a simple notification to be displayed on our watch with uh, relevant information. So I'm just choosing notification screen. Uh, it should be named, otherwise other action can delete that notification. So I'm just going to place a quick name on it and then we're going to use the same variables so for the title we're just going to request the name from the variable contact name and for the uh, actual information there is a global variable contact info available to us i'm just going also make sure this notification shows on top of the others because it's going to be first one we want to see and there is a priority that we can use um, in options and set it to max and once this is done, all we have to do is just set another condition. So if our screen is off, this is our default notification screen. So now the profile is completed. So let's have a quick test of it. What I'm going to do is just going to head to our Google uh, now and try it as a voice command. OK, Google. Display date of birth for Becky. As you can see, but this also it's intercepted by auto voice and displayed in a blue bar below and the same information will be displayed also when we're going to use Android Wear. This is why we don't need a second condition. So in order to do it in the Android Wear I'm going to do it using a shake. So in Android Wear setup all we have to do is go and set up our shake and once that's done uh, when we're going to request the shake option, uh, we will get to pass the voice command, which also will be displayed on Android device. Display date of birth for Becky. And this way, this command is also intercepted by Auto Voice on our mobile. I think that should give you more ideas how to utilize this function. I hope you liked the video and you're not feeling disappointed even if you don't have a smartwatch. Um, as usual, leave me comments in a section below, uh, like the video if you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next video if you already subscribed to my channel. Bye!